Hey guys, what's up? I know I had promised since last two videos that I should be getting my settings out for you. So here it is. We'll start with the audio settings. This is what I have been using. I'm just going to scroll through everything. So if there's anything important to highlight, I'll keep highlighting. On the graphics, this is what I play on. Please take a note, I play on iPad Pro M4, which is the latest one. And my FOV, I play on both 113 and 120, depending on how my eyes are feeling. Uh, you will have gameplays for both 113 and 120 FOV so that you can see how it plays out. I don't see much of a difference, but I see a little more on 113 FOV. And now, uh, control part. This is how my HUD looks like. Couple of things to highlight. I keep my joystick to the smallest size possible. Number one. Uh, throwable variants are set to direct throw rest all you can set up as you want I have changed the size of my map a little bit because I had a lot of space on my screen sorry about the connection lost we'll have to wait for around seven seconds to get this out of the screen nothing out of the ordinary moving to the gameplays everything business as usual in terms of weapon auto pick priority i have changed priority one to smg and priority two to assault rifle the only change i did uh, camera damage aiming was fixed this season so i was trying it uh, i still don't see if it helps or it doesn't but uh, i've kept it on rest all is business as usual auto equip armor i have kept it to first uh weapon mount delay short and please feel free to pause i'm just highlighting the things i've kept different from default Armor, plate behavior, apply all. I don't use gyroscope. My iPad is mounted on my table, so I don't move it at all. So gyroscope is off. And outline teammate none, enemy all modes. Moving to interface, I keep my show MO button separated. Hit marker is on normal. I tried it on small, extra small, but I felt normal was giving me more aim assist or at least the illusion of more aim assist. So I kept it at normal. Moving to the most interesting part, sensitivity. I use 41 as my horizontal and I keep uh, vertical at 1. It's pretty low so I need vertical to be at, the, at its highest. Controller sensitivity doesn't matter but I tried controller for a couple of games and 3 and 3 was more controllable or was the sensitivity that worked for me. Global ADS sensitivity sensitivity multiplier at one though it really doesn't matter because i'm using ads sensitivity per zoom my ads sensitivity for low zoom one 2x 1.8 rest all is there up to 6x i have finalized for 8x and high zoom i am yet to play some games and see how it goes another and the last and the most important thing to note here is that i use instant instant gives you more uh, it will take you 2-3 days to adjust to an instant if you have been using after zoom or gradual but once you are it forces you to center more and if you are a FPS player you know centering is one of the most important skill in a FPS game so if you want to improve your centering move to instant because it will force you to center on enemy first and then shoot that's all. 
enjoy the gameplays both on 120 FOV as well as 113 FOV and let me know which one you prefer better.
Requesting close air. Target marked. Copy. Phoenix 2-3 on approach. Track inbound. Seventeen kills.
pretty good so far. Jeez.